Comedian and world-class banjo player Steve Martin once said, the banjo is such a happy instrument. You can't play a sad song on the banjo. It always comes out so cheerful. The stringed instrument with a bright and twangy sound certainly brings a smile to the face of a 10-year-old Kenosha County boy, who, as Jenna Wells discovered in our Sunday morning spotlight, is also using his talents to bring joy to others. <laughs> Ruby! Ruby! Honey, are you mad at your man? Aiden Muse lives in Twin Lakes, where he spends a lot of time in his basement strumming his favorite instrument. I've had two banjos. My current one is a vintage 1979 banjo. We were really surprised when Aiden said he wanted to play the banjo. Aiden became interested in the banjo at six years old while on a car ride with mom. My mom turned on the bluegrass channel to show me a little bit of bluegrass. I heard the banjo so clearly. I loved the way it sounded. I loved its twang. I loved its old timey sound. From that point on, bluegrass became a norm in the Muse household. I would listen as hard as I could for a banjo. You could even say I was addicted to it. Music has always been special for their family. Aiden's mom sings and plays piano. His dad plays bass. So it's something that was important for us to carry on. But Aiden's instrument of choice wasn't expected. It's, it's just a phase. He'll play a guitar downstairs. You know, we have all these instruments. Um, but he just would not give up on, on the banjo idea. So when Aiden turned eight, his parents bought him his first banjo. I feel since then I have made a huge amount of progress. Now Aiden can play nearly 40 songs. He plays gigs all over southern Wisconsin, including solo shows and jam sessions. I feel like playing up there as a young fellow, it kind of strikes people like, whoa. It's pretty fantastic and amazing to see a 10-year-old get up on a stage play with grown-ups who have been doing this their whole lives, and it, he never misses a beat. Each year, Aiden gets to share his talent at the East Troy Bluegrass Festival. My first year, I won first place, and my second, I won second. When Aiden's not winning awards for music, he is winning awards for chickens. This is Miss Cluck Cluck. She is my award-winning um, chicken. I don't mind going in the coop and scooping out some chicken poop. Aiden and his brother have been raising chickens in their backyard for about a year. <laughs> and he loves chickens almost as much as he loves the banjo. They are very funny. They're very intelligent. They can, they can recognize more than 10 human faces. Sometimes the two go together. Grace is the star of my videos. Aiden regularly makes videos called Pickin' with a Chicken. <laughs> Girl. Aiden's love for animals is truly satisfied through his local 4-H program. 4-H is a program that teaches leadership how to um, handle animals. And animals teach responsibility and they teach respect because it doesn't matter sick, not sick, tired, not tired, they still need to be fed. That is pretty dirty. Rick Fanella owns Rocking Horse Farm in Pleasant Prairie. Aiden is working with their horse Hope in 4-H this year. So I'm doing showmanship and riding with her this year. He wants to work hard and get better. So he's he's a pleasure to work with. Horses have really stolen Aiden's heart. I just think they're awesome animals and they can teach you a lot of valuable life lessons like patience. And while the banjo might always be Aiden's passion, animals might be his future. I want to be a veterinarian when I grow up. But may, maybe mostly an equine veterinarian, but also some like small animals too. room for a side gig. I believe I'm carrying on an old music that's starting to be forgotten. It brings me a lot of joy when I see the joy I bring other people. 